Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is January 8, 2023 and we celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord. The word Epiphany comes from the Greek Epiphanen, a verb that means to shine upon, to manifest, or to make known. The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears His glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah. All from Sheba shall come. Bearing gold and frankincense. And proclaiming the praises of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king. And with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice. And your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days. And profound peace, till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea. And from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Saba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out. And the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. Namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia! We saw His star at its rising, and have come to do Him homage. Alleluia, Alleluia! The Gospel according to Matthew When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, Behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them, until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. Reflection Herod was interested in Jesus in an intellectual way, careful that his own position not be affected. I pray for people who keep Jesus at a distance, referring to him as an idea. I realize that my prayer draws me into a relationship and ask that I be ready to accept the consequences that may come to light. The comfortable and established did not recognize Jesus but the travelers and strangers appreciated who he was. 
I ask that I be open to the voices of the stranger and to wisdom from other traditions.